All right, so let's just put it this way, okay? Let's put it in hindsight. It's 2020, right? If you gotta, if you gotta take it in the ass, or you gotta suck someone's dick, let them suck your dick, you do it. That's what makes you get ahead, okay? I didn't do that. I didn't have it done to me. I didn't do it to anybody else. Nor did Ray. That's how we were. Okay? One of the biggest jokes in the locker room with Ray was, hey, if my partner would only let him suck his, suck his dick, then we'd be uh, main event every night. Okay? And that was the big running joke. All right? That didn't fly with us. So maybe it's because we didn't do that, that we didn't get our push. Now, I'm not saying the people that got a push did that. Don't get me wrong. Because I know that would be all twisted, turned around every which way you can to get heat, you know, on my side. But at the end of the day, let's just say Ray and I, we were straight arrows. We didn't play that game, that card. That wasn't, that just wasn't in our, our, uh, our traveling uh, suitcase. So we did what we needed to do. We kept it straight and, and honest. And we worked hard. We trained hard. And that was the end of it. We we looked for what was what we were due, and we didn't get what we were due. So, but you know what? They couldn't stop us, just like you're talking about it right now, power and glory. That's one tag team. Just like I had the drop kick, highest drop kick ever in professional wrestling. It's in the books. They can't take it away from me. Wait till someone else could jump and kick Big John Stout off the top of his head. Yeah, seven feet. I want to see someone else do it. Plant their left foot on his forehead and the right foot over the top of his head. I want to see someone else do that. Not happening. So you know what? They could say what they want. They could call me a jobber. They could call me second rate. They could call me whatever they want. You know what? I know that I made it. And I made it right. Straight arrow. I didn't do anything I wasn't supposed to do. I kept it clean. I didn't bend over for nobody. Neither did Ray. So you know what? They could all take that to the bank. And as far as those those couch potatoes that think they're real wrestling fans, that think, you know, they're better than everybody else, they could kiss my ass too. It really, it's, it's a lot of horse shit, only because if you didn't watch, and a lot of these fans now did not watch back then, they don't get it. They don't respect what you guys went through, and obviously, I mean, what you're talking about, that was a huge scandal in the 90s. It happened. It was real. People resigned, including the guy you mentioned a little bit ago. He had to resign because of the scandals going on. But knowing the culture, knowing that that stuff was going on, I mean, do you guys just laugh at the fact that the media picked up on it and the media just literally exposed a whole underbelly of the business at that point? Yeah, I guess, I mean, how long can you keep it quiet? Let's put it this way. In today's day and age, you couldn't get away with what was gotten away with back then because of social media. You just couldn't. WWE would have been shut down or WWF would have been shut down. With Facebook and Twitter and everybody posting pictures, they'd have shut it down. He'd have nobody to wrestle. They'd all be gone. Everyone be gone. You know, who's who's over here doing what and who's over there doing what? Forget it, man. Even overseas. You know, now it's different. You know, there's there's a uh, tighter tighter watch. Um, the business is different. So, you know, I mean, we, do we laugh at it? Yeah. We were hoping that nothing bad would come of it because we had our jobs on the line. <laughs> you know? <laughs> If they get Vince, they got us, man. We're out. <laughs> no more WWF. Um, you know, and again, a lot of people kept their mouth shut. Um, a lot of people were offered, you know, not to testify. Uh, you know, hey, you know, you could, you know, he may call you back. You know, we, you, you got a big payday coming, you know, uh, whatever it took. And, um, you know, is that tampering with witnesses? Of course it is. Does anybody care? No. You know, is it back then? Yeah. So it doesn't matter enough. I'm talking about it. You know, it's, uh, you know, too far, too far removed. Um, but again, it is what it is. That's what happened back then. So, you know, he got away with it. He's a billionaire. Good for him. Triple H married into the family. Good for him. Um, I think the only 
real person out of the whole thing is, is Linda. She seemed to be the only straight shooter anytime I ever met her. You know, she was great. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, again, when when Ray and I were coming up on top, so to speak, you know, Vince loved us, man. He gave us the time of day, any time of day. You know, go sit down, have lunch with him, pick his brain. It was good stuff, man. Had a lot of great talks with Vince. That's why my school and, and my students are so successful. You know, the angles I've created are so entertaining. You know, guys just, guys that come, you know, when they see me, they're like, what are you going to do next to top the last show? I'm like, oh, you got to come and find out. And then I top the last, damn, you topped the last one too. I'm like, yeah, wait till you see the next one. Because, you know, I used, you know, a lot of what, well, most of what Vince showed me, what Pat showed me, uh, these things they taught me, you know, look, this is why we do this, this is why we do that. I absorbed all that. 